everyone, my name is Nomi Han on the Arc Truth, and today we're going to be talking about Kevin McCarthy finally cleaning the Speaker of the House. Now, I don't need to explain myself how much I despise Kevin McCarthy. He's an establishment figure, much like how Mitch McConnell is in the Senate, and like many other people, I, I along with many other Republican voters in this country, despise the man. But unfortunately, and this is the bad news, he is the Speaker. But that's just the small bad news. Because in reality... Even despite the fact that he finally managed to cling, cling onto the speakership, I see this as an overall victory. Here's the thing. This is the first time in 100 years that the speakership has had to have multiple votes in order to confirm the next speaker of the house. In fact, the no based upon the number of votes taken, which is basically the 15th round, which was when uh, McCarthy became speaker... This is the fifth longest voting session in order to confirm a speakership in history. The fifth. The next, the fourth, lo the fourth longest would be back in 1823, which I think was about 22 rounds. And of course, the longest would be in 1857, which with 133 rounds, give or take. But nonetheless, despite the fact Kevin McCarthy managed to win his speakership, he has become neutered. Because thanks to the efforts of 20 Republicans, or was it 21, around that number, thanks to those MAGA Republicans, he is effectively neutered and he caved to their demands. In fact, I'm going to be mentioning some of the, a few of them just to let you know how significant this is. Of course, 72, here, one of them would be that the bills would be allowed to be, would be read at least 72 given with uh, representatives given 72 hours before the bills have to are voted on the floor. Now, as you know, this is a response to the omnibus bill, which basically was about two thousand over 2,000 pages long. No one had time to um, read it at all, and it was introduced literally ar around 2 a.m., and just a few hours later, boom, it had to be voted on, and unfortunately, it was passed. $1.7 trillion down the drain. I actually mentioned this in another video. I can't rem remember which, but but still, it, is, it has become such a prominent thing from, for the last several, for, for the last several years. Hell, for the last several decades that, honestly, a lot of Republicans, and now, thankfully, MAGA Republicans, are just tired of this, and they want something done. So, McCarthy gave them this 72 hours of notice before the before the bill is actually introduced for a vote. The second thing, Freedom Caucus members are now being appointed to the Rules Committee. This is a very significant one because they the Rules Committee sets parameters on passing legislation. Basically, they set the agenda, the scheduling, etc. That is a huge amount of power, and that basically controls what bills are presented onto the House floor. That is, very, again, that's a very significant I issue. If, if I were to take this in the, in a way, if I were to make, put this simply, it would be, in the totalitarian sense, like Joseph Stalin. He was the secre general secretary, and I'm not trying to imply that the Freedom Caucus members are totalitarian or fascist or anything. In fact, they're far from it. <laughs> but... I'm just making a making a political comparison based upon the similarities of the job. Joseph Stalin was a general secretary, and his job was mainly to make appointments, make scheduling, and that and that allowed him to put a lot of people in power that were loyal to him, as well as to set the agenda and schedule for the Communist Party. And in a similar way, this was what the rules could be does so they set up the parameters of passing legislation whether it be the budget or just any other uh, legislation introduced in the house that's a very significant amount of power the next one change to house rules originally thanks to the democrats very recently it was changed it was originally that there needed to be five representatives that had to agree they wanted to call for the speaker of the house to be removed Five, a change from the one original 
representative that was needed in order to call for a vote. Well, guess what? They decided to change it back to one. McCarthy decided to finally cave on that. In fact, he I, that's one of the concessions that he tried to help hold out on, but considering the fact that he was losing multiple times and to be a, and be basically the laughing stock of the country, or well, the laughing stock of the Republican Party, I'm pretty sure he just decided screw this. He decided to cave. So, and while I don't think that he will get out of the speakership, there is a possibility that if he does not play ball, if he does not do anything good, he could potentially be voted out, or at the very minimum. The vote will be there to threaten him. It, I would not be surprised if people like Matt Gates, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, anyone else decides to put, put up something like that. Another thing is that Texas Representative Chip Roy has, thanks to the fact that he was a major negotiator, he's the one that actually demanded these concessions in the first place on behalf of the MAGA Republicans, he has now become a major Republican leader. He's now part of the major Republican circle. True, again, McCarthy is in the House, but Chip Roy, he holds a significant amount of power thanks to this move. And he, I would not say he is the leader of uh, the MAGA caucus, as I would like to call it, but I do say that he is a major player as a part of that caucus. Although, in my personal opinion, Matt Gates still maintains its leadership. Fight and let's see what else here. Oh, the final one that I know of, and I'm pretty sure there's there's more that I haven't heard of, is that there are that the mega Republicans managed to get key positions on every oversight committee. That means they're going to look into stu stuff like with Hunter Biden, finances, all of that. They are now going to be looking into a lot of these things that have occurred, and I, I pray to God they also look into possible violations of the Constitution under Biden's watch. This, my friend, just the, listening to these, these uh, concessions that McCarthy has made, this is a big win. I know that a lot of people out there hate the fact that Kevin McCarthy is out, or no, I, I mean, in as speaker. But here's the thing. These concessions he gave just effectively neutered him. He could, he's basically just a puppet. He, he has no true power whatsoever. In fact, it's, even the establishment was also pretty pissed at this. Keep it, for example, Matt Gates, he, along with six other Republicans, decided to vote present. Decided not to vote for Matt Gates, despite the fact that he made a lot of these concessions. But they decided not to, of course, vote for another potential uh, representative or even Donald Trump, which was actually pretty funny. He was confronted by Matt Gates, and I'm pretty sure they had a little bit of an argument. But then Mike Rogers of Alabama actually went so far as nearly start a fight with Matt Gates. I have not seen something like that since the Civil War, when there was a, there was that one what uh painting where a senator from South Carolina was being uh, I, I forget who it was uh another senator from a northern state with a cane. Of course, I of course it's that's not entirely the same thing. He was actually trying to use this, but he was he had to be subdued before he actually. He actually fought with Matt Gates, and that very fact alone goes to show that the establishment won the battle, but they lost the war for the House. It's clear that the MAGA Republicans, thanks to this very move, show who the who who's the, really in control. These the MAGA Republicans are showing the establishment who is the future of the Republican Party, and I am happy for that. I am absolutely happy because of this. This is something that the Republican Party needs. The Republican Party is so sick of the establishment. They are so sick of, of this constant bickery, this constant crap about supposedly doing a lot of new things and then breaking promises and not really doing too much and just snatching defeat from the jaws of victory time and time again. They're done with that. 
and thank and thank God for it. This is a morale boost for um for the for the Republican Party. Something that we all desperately need, in spite due to the fact that the 2020 midterms were lackluster response. Which, by the way, McCarthy gave us no favors, especially with how he uh, withhold withhold financing from Madison Cawthorn. Oh. <coughs> One of the other concessions was that he won't meddle in primaries, it, at, at least in House races. Well, that's one of the other ones. So that is another uh, another awesome concession that he made. He's done. There's no. There's not really any power. He de jure McCarthy is speaker, but de facto, I would say that honor goes to either Matt Gates or Chip Roy. But definitely, if I were to make it in a factionalized sense. The MAGA Republicans have the power. My name is Noah Meehan on the Arc of Truth. Please post your comments down below. Like this video, subscribe, and share your friends. Also, if you have any issues regarding my future use videos, such as how I speak or any improvement whatsoever, please post the down in the comment section down below or directly message me. Thank you. Mm -hmm.